I'm filled with your glory. I'm filled with your grace. I am filled and Father, with thank you your favor. Thank you for his gifts. Thank you for the wisdom that you've given me, my Lord. Thank you for shining my day. Father, I thank you that you're shining greater than this. I thank you that you are elevating him greater than this. I thank you that you are revealing him, you are revealing yourself to him more than you are doing it today. Thank you, Lord, that he's going to see you than ever before. Dream about you than ever before. See you in eternity than ever before. Let his life surely become a radiance of you, O oh Lord. Let him reflect you in his words, reflect you in his mind, reflect you in his reactions, reflect you in every way he lives, O oh Lord, in every corner of his life. May he reflect you. That whoever sees him surely says that he is what he says he is. His word will never contradict his action. His word will never contradict his action. Father, thank you for much more in his life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I am so thankful for everyone's life, yeah. And I'm so thankful for your praises today. Uh, you know, you you are burdened a lot. You you quit a lot, and you decide every Friday to be here. So it's not it's not something small for me and for you too, yeah. When I say for me, is for someone who is ministering here. Anyone who is standing here ministering. That I say as James, but. Uh, uh, like it, it means a lot. It, it means a lot because we, we, without you, no one can stand here. Can, could you stand here and preach to, to walls? You cannot. <laughs> you need a brother to fellowship with each other. Hallelujah. As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens another. Amen. Amen. Blessed to be uh, 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 that which I am by grace. Uh, I'm righteous. I'm, but when I say that, that's who you are. I'm saying you. I don't want to say you are righteous. When I say you are righteous, you'll be like, James, not me. At least let me say myself, but hear yourself as well. Yeah, I'm righteous. Uh, could, could I add very, very righteous? <laughs> if there is that level of righteousness, then therefore I am. Uh, holy. Very, 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 very holy to the level that what I touch is holy. Most holy. Uh, I am blameless. No sport. Yeah, you can try to find a sport. Uh, inside and outside, it's okay. Yeah, spotless, just like Jesus is. Very spotless. Very, very, very spotless. And pure. Mm. What is pure? What is, what is anything that is pure on this earth? May not be. Jesus is pure and pure. Uh, what other words? <sighs> innocent. Very innocent like a two-year-old or one-year-old. Very innocent. Very innocent. Sin free, body free, absent of this world, man. Very absent, very absent, living eternity in the reality. That's you. All those are scriptures that I've just uh, uh, released in those little words. Those are scriptures. That's your identity. It's okay. We walk in the word, it's okay. To gender muni jaza mungu, it's okay. Ukono utabji ibgira. Mwen sima nila guhana. Mwen satana la kuranjiza. Rik, 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 rik. Na acho ya gutkwara. Aya magamu kwe vuga, nubun. Haru mungu unera mawuye, nuru jero mjatu ya kanera mawuye. Bira murevu. Hariko jewe, nda bjaturo. My God, Hallelujah! So it's okay. Why uh, am I going to put you on a comet and why you tell you the words will be speaking here if you don't catch her, if you don't understand? It's very okay, very well. Let's just keep talking, keep sharing, keep sharpening each other. As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens another. Proverbs twenty-seven seventeen. We keep sharpening each other, and it, until a day. You begin to flourish. You begin to speak these things in confidence. You begin to speak these things in clarity. You begin to speak these things when you know what you're speaking. Hallelujah. But today, it is special and that's why we have all these things. Amen. Is uh, 
uh, it is a great opportunity then to, to today to start that program and project and the Lord has you know spoken to us uh, for in regard to this year and this program is going to you know blow people's minds say I am a witness I am a witness why? I always tell you, you do not have to quote scriptures. You need to quote life in the scriptures. Are you healing, brothers? You don't have to speak words. Just words quoting scripture. No. Quote, quote life in scripture. You don't need to cram too much scriptures without life flowing in the scriptures. You need something. You need a substance of life out of a scripture. Are you healing, brothers? For the word of God, Hebrews 4.12, the word of God is alive and active. Alive and? Active. Alive and? In who? In God? No, in? Amen? So you need to learn how to speak the word that is alive and active. And that's why today we have a witness. Say a witness. So therefore, today the Lord has blessed us with... Uh, Natasha Uineza, please very welcome. How are you? Very okay. Praise Jesus. Amen. 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 Yes, welcome to uh, Living Witness Talk. You're going to talk to us mm -hmm. about Jesus in you, with you, on you, for you, everywhere you are is where Jesus is. Amen. Amen. When uh, I became a new creature, I had a new name as well. Come on. And I'm so thankful. Amen. Yeah. Uh, you, when I, when the Lord gave us this program, you did not hesitate to uh, respond and say, "Yeah, Daddy, I'm on the platform. I'm ready." So, uh, before we start, I think we can release a word of prayer. Amen. Amen. Father, thank you for now. Just we like we thanked you when we just started. Now we thank you again that you're going to control every voice. You're going to control every word. Thank you that you are controlling. Thank you that you are in control. Thank you that you're opening up hearts to receive, minds to receive. Every one of us receive a package for next decades. Receive a package today. Let someone receive a package today out of the living witness who is testifying now the life that is flowing within her. In the name of Jesus, thank you for Natasha and her life. Thank you for her gifts. Thank you for every single thing you've given her that you use to bless every one of us. Thank you in the name of Jesus. We thank you and believe. Amen. Uh, every one of us, the word of the Lord found us. This is where we were. This is what was happening. Tell us, Natasha. Tell us about the life. That uh, uh, Tell us about the life that you you personally were leaving and how the word found you hey amen amen yeah so um, i'm very thankful as i said uh and uh, once while i will be sharing uh how i see things today you should understand that's not how i was seeing it that day yeah by the word of god now i separate darkness and light and um, I, I managed to go back oh, to the life I was living in and, and know what was, what was happening that time. I relate myself to the Bible, then I go back in my story to search God, why this happened? Because I know you love me. I know in, I'm in your mind. Why all this happened? So then uh, uh, when you see Genesis 3, 3, when he said, don't touch or eat on this tree because you will surely die. Then I was like, Adam, for real, you would have not eaten on this tree <laughs> for us to all of us to become sinners. Then, but I, I, uh, I finally realized, and today I'm so thankful of my story that I will not share today, because today I'm speaking the life I have in me. I used to speak about that story because that story will bring bitterness, down, but today I'm no longer there completely. Amen. So I thank God for, for, for that sin that took me to Genesis 4.26 mm. until I called on God. I was very tired. Mm. I said, Jesus, I need you. Mm. Come and 
come and take me out of here. Ah, Tasha, it's like you're speaking in parables. There is something. <laughs> no, I mean, no, no, no. What you're saying is right. But there's, a, there's something you just say that. After you were sinful. The one you're conceived in your mother's womb, sinful. And you want, and you're, you realize you're a sinner. Genesis 4.24, you begin to call on God. What does that mean? You want to tell us everything begins and ends in Genesis. It's the beginning at the end. When he starts, he ends. So, uh... Oh my God! Have you heard what she's saying? <laughs> yeah, there's a song of Hillsong that I love so much when they say, mm. before I was lost, I was found. Before I was lost, oh, he found me. When me, I read the Bible, I say, in the mind of God, surely Tasha is there. Yeah. <laughs> He's so mindful of me, he's so mindful of you. And in John, there's a, a verse that says, if, you're of, if you are of the world, surely the world will love you. Then I was like, how does the world love me? And I saw it. It's John 10.10. 10. They steal your identity, kill you, and destroy you. But the good thing of those who are predestined, they never die. It's not my fault that I became a sinner. It's no one's fault. Are you seeing? From the Bible perspective, as she's reading the Bible, she realizes it's not her fault to be a sinner. Therefore, no one should blame you. Are you hearing that? And it goes after she says, okay, from my mother's womb, and that's the Bible, from my mother's womb, I'm just getting this from her story, how she, life is flowing, she's reading her Bible, she realizes, you know what? The Bible says, for my mother's womb, I was conceived with sin. And how did you realize you're a sinner from the Bible context? So how, um, at that time, how I realized I was a sinner simply was by what I was doing. And um, as I said, I never knew what was the issue. Mm. I was looking outside the issue and the you issue You thought was, that what, what, how, what was wrong with you, you thought it was by what you're doing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And at that time, I was after two things love and perfection and uh, I tried the best to be perfect <laughs> and I was a very principled woman God is so powerful from her story and the power is not taking away sin the power is not addressing insecurities in her, in his, in her mind the power is not taking away the worries the power is not providing. At the end, the power is powerless. <laughs> <laughs> At the end, the power is powerless. Yeah. This is what Brother Paul says, that it was like a zip. The word of the Lord was weak. Uh, uh, I was a woman who take crazy decisions. Mm. So I decided to go back in the world completely because I realized here they are not enjoying salvation either not enjoying the world. So, and the people outside, they are very well enjoying their life. Yes. Then I was like, you know Lord, if now you are powerful, find me in my house. I will never search you. Because when I searched, I never found you. So, um, going back in my normal life, then find me there. So, I did, uh, once a pastor was preaching, he said, uh, even pastors, I don't know where he, 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 he quoted that scripture or what he said. He said even pastors, sometimes they take a year off without preaching and uh, living their life. Then I said, oh, okay, that's me. I, I decided to take a year. Out of, I was like in five groups, Christian's group. Uh, I was attending two churches on a Sunday, one in the morning, another in the evening. Then I decided to stop everything completely. My focus went back to my schools again, my work. Like, I went completely back to my life, make my life normal life. A normal life. Yes. So, one time I was home, uh, I decided to go to one of the cell of one of the biggest church I was attending. And a brother came, I, like, he knew me, asking me, asking so much questions. Then once he took me aside, he told me, 
you know, I know of a man. <laughs> when I remember that story, then he, then he told me, can you please give me one chance? Come on Friday. There's a place I want to take you. I was like, bro, you know, even here I will not come back. So even that group, I will not come. Cause me, I will be home. If it comes in me to read the Bible, actually I even went in a Bible college and uh, for seven years. Then I, I, I said, no, I know stories of the Bible cause they, they taught you how to read the Bible, how, yeah, then I was like, now I know. I'll be reading the Bible home. And next Friday, he insisted. When I was home, I said, but why can't I try and, uh, and go? Here, I want to show you two different things. Mm -hmm. I was calling God, but this time God was calling me. Wasn't me now calling on God. Oh, he, he sent an angel to call me. Mm -hmm. Why am I saying this time was God calling me? There was no my performance, no my plan, no completely my commitment. I was co it was completely out of me, out of my initiative, out of blah. Then a Friday I came, yeah, it was here. <laughs> yeah, and uh, being honest, the first time to him, I was like, man, I have seen pastors, but this one is crazy. Then, but because I was so tied inside, outside, my, my life was a mess up in all corners. And I was so thirsty and hungry to hear. That time, I, I don't know how, but I felt like he's speaking to me. Not that speaking to me, we used to be in the church when a pastor speaks, you feel like he's speak, speaking your sins. Huh? It, it, it seems like he knows where you're coming from, from sin. No. This time, when I say he was speaking to me, he was calling what I was after. Oops. I would feel connecting to the person who is in me. Amen. Then I remember the first verse he gave me. The first verse he gave me was John 1, 29. So, he's a God who gives to desire and he fulfills your desire. Never stop yourself to desire. Even if you feel you want to desire to be Christ, a hundred percent, desire it. He, uh, you know, in the church, today I was meditating and I was like, why these habits of always telling a man of God, pray for me? Mm. You are always after a man of God, pray for me for this. I don't know how many times I said to him, pray for me. He's like, Tasha, I'm not going to pray. I'm like, what? A pastor who doesn't pray. <laughs> yeah, but I, I also saw that was, that was victimizing you to always depend on that person and driving you out of identity. Because once you receive the identity, once you believe Christ is within you, then he will speak to you. And then I, you, now when I was reading, I said, why in, there are people who read the Bible, they don't pray, or those who pray, they don't read the Bible. And you see some churches, they pray, others they read the Bible, others they do this, and as if Christ is scattered. Like Acts 2.42 is not completely there as a body. I was reading the book of Joshua, once I posted and say, it's one thing to be in the land of rest, it's another thing to to, to, op to experience the land of rest. It's another thing to have all the property, anything in the land of rest. Anything in the land. Yes. So when, how uh, as, uh, I received the life of Christ, not me giving my life to him, because my life was completely amazed. W would I give it for what? <laughs> yeah. Then I received the light of Christ, the life, the life of Christ. Then I became obedient. I know English. I started listening to anything you will teach to me. Then that's how uh, John 8.32, the truth set me free completely. Then I began to take that spiritual life to my mind. Because by your mind, that's how you function. 
the, my mind was by, empty. by your mind that's how you function what in other words what is in your mind it is a result of the life you're going to be living in other words what the information you have the knowledge you have every single thing that you have in you either knowledge either information either whatsoever thing that is in your mind imagination vision whatsoever that is in your mind it is what it is what comes outside what you see outside is just as simple as a blueprint it's a replica of what is in your mind in other words you see as she's believe as she was she believed that she's a sinner therefore she lives a sinful life give us that experience that, that, that was a, that was a stage that was so painful that's hebrews 4:12 to a person of of outside he will, he would think i'm crushing to the man but to, to the person to, to my brothers we are connected here i tell you know them, what you're speaking i know what they are speaking oh! They are connected to my spirit. Amen. I speak, I Oops. love you, I hug you the way I want to hug you, and my hug is clean. Mm. I loved when Paul used to tell Timothy, give them a holy kiss. Come on. So when me, I hug my brothers, I give them a holy hug, <laughs> a holy kiss. Amen. And we sharpen each other, and oh, everyone imparts each other mm. the wisdom. Me, mm. I was crushed down mm. to the extent any person I meet and I see has a gift I come very humble I'm like bro you are so wise impart me wisdom mm. I've done it to so many people here mm. you are so joyful impart me so if you see your brother is acting in a certain gift it's, he's in that office man it, we, we live a life of grace from inside to outside it's very simple to come and say bro impart me Amen. receive and i'm like i receive and it happened in my life Amen. many people imparted me their gift their offices they're operating in it Amen. and next day i would see myself and i would call the brother and i'm like bro I'm you flowing. know I, i'm flowing i want to tell you this woman you see Hano today speaking he couldn't speak days ago mm. he wasn't confident at all mm -hmm. and you know the issue mm -hmm. the mind I used to read the Bible. I remember I was in the hospital. I man. And I would go and ask him, what is it happening? Why when me, I read the Bible, one second I'm in, one, another second I'm out, thinking, I don't know. How does it come? And the word of God says, in Romans 12, 2, do not pattern on the system of this world. And that's why he said, even any language, any street language, however which language even a minister can be speaking, speak your language. Amen. Don't speak the language you are just capturing outside. Always speak your language. Amen. Always have that voice of God in you. Let that voice speak. Because surely you are righteous without what you do or good or bad. Amen. So if that's how it is, then speak it until that Bro, imana ngwire misi yere me mukwizera yaravuze biraba niba imana yaravuze bikaba who are you not to speak and let it happen niba wararemewe mu ijambo ry'imana kandi ngo mbere yuko kwirema ngo arabanje ba mu bitekerezo byaje noneho mbere yuko abantu babona Kristo reka banza be mu bitekerezo byawe Take your time and let it be in your mind. Within two years, only two, I'm here. And there are people who are 30 years in a church. They have never had a, a pulpit to speak. <laughs> and then, then you're like, Uri muri No, 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 no,